What is up, Coretics? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movie slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that I do have a separate series for the Fast and Furious cars, so again this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles. So, in today's video, we're going to be building the Koenigsegg Agera R from a Need for Speed movie from 2014. A pretty awesome film considering it was something that they made from scratch. There was little to no CGI used for the crash scenes and I think they did a great job all things considering. Now I will actually be building all three of the Agueras in this video since their builds are pretty similar for the most part and not overly complex. So the car we're going to be using for this build is the Entity XXR which thankfully is still available from Legendary Motorsport website although it's pretty pricey at 2.3 million. But it is based directly on the Koenigsegg Agera, so it's to be expected to be <laughs> that expensive of a car. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for the Koenigsegg Agera R's from any for Speed movie. What can we do to it? All right, any for Speed Koenigsegg Agera's, let's do it. Alright, so as usual, we always do max performance and internal mods. Um, I think we'll start off with the gray one, which is the one that Toby drove in the beginning. Then we'll work our way to the white one that his brother drove. And then we'll work our way to the red one that Dino drove, which then Toby later drove in the last um, race of the film. But again, we're starting off with the gray one. Now, at the very beginning, when the Koenigseggs are first introduced, where the garage door is open... Um, the gray one in the center of the Agera, that was actually a real Koenigsegg Agera, uh, but the red and white one were actually replicas. So throughout the entire film, they used replicas. Obviously, they weren't going to do stunts or destroy multi-million dollar hypercars. That was definitely not going to happen. Um, but the, uh, the gray one for that one scene where Toby hops in the car... That was the only time in the entire film that we saw a real Koenigsegg. So throughout the entire film, all the other ones are, are fake. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the gray one is shown with a front splitter. That one's actually an Agera S. The other two are supposed to be R's, even though in the film they consider all of them R's. But anyways, that's why the spoiler is different to the gray one. Um, but in that scene, it had a front splitter. However... Throughout the rest of the film, uh, it doesn't have a front splitter. Same thing with the other two. So I think it's more accurate to base it on the replica stunt cars that are used in 99% of the film. Um, so we'll do the primary short splitter. is going to be the closest. This is the same thing for the red one and the white one. I mean, we are going to build them separately, but just wanted to show that here. So primary short splitter for the front. Now, for rear bumper, the gray car and the white car actually use the highlight a rear diffuser trim. I did make a mistake on that, but the red one is the one that uses the full carbon uh, diffuser, which is going to be the stock, so keep that in mind there. Um, engine will max out. Exhaust. For the exhaust, for all of them, you're going to do the big bore. That would be the closest there. Hood. Now, this one's a bit controversial because the Koenigsegg, it has a little tiny hood scoop in the center. Um, however, it doesn't have the, these giant hood scoops like what Rockstar did here, or these hood fins. Now, it does have uh, vents with fins on the upper portion of the uh, fenders. I guess that's sort of part of the hood, right behind the tail lights. Uh, not not the tail lights, the headlights. Uh, but it, it doesn't have these giant vents like this. So, um, I mean, it's up to you what you want to do here. We are building the gray one first. Now I have seen people do the secondary fins and then paint the um, the secondary color blue, so it sort of looks like that blue stripe. Uh, but the problem is your secondary color is linked to the spoiler, uh, and the spoiler on the white one and the red one is actually closest to stock. So then you'd have a different colored spoiler. So yeah, I think you're better off just choosing um, primary fins here or carbon, fully up to you, or you can just leave it stock. I'm going to go primary fence here. Um, lights will do some xenons. Plate. So the plate on the gray one was uh, HGG4098. 
the plate on the white one was AER 2075, and then the plate on the red one was SMH 2286. So I have that plate here for when we build the red one. I wasn't going to make all three plates, but um, I do have the plate design. for the red one here, which Technology is the last one we're going to do. Um, respray. So for this, again, we're doing the gray one here. So you want to go to a metallic, I recommend metallic dark steel. Black steel is way too dark, so metallic dark Girl steel. And then pearlescent, I recommend either an ice white or a frost white. I'm going to go with a frost white here. Don't she look pretty? Um, secondary color. So that's the spoiler. Um, now the gray one is the only one that has the unique spoiler because it's made based more on the Agera S instead of the R. So we're going to change this anyways, so it really doesn't matter. Um, I guess I'll just make it match for now. Do drive. that. Trim color, so the interior. Now the gray one, which is the one Toby was driving at the beginning of the film, um, well, for, for that scene, uh, it did have a blue interior. It's kind of hard to see. It has like these blue accents, um, so it's really difficult to see, but in this kind of screenshot here, you can sort of see the, the blue accents there. So um, we're going to go with the blue interior. I recommend going with either the ultra blue or the racing blue. It's fully up to you. Um, I, I think that's a tough one. It's all personal preference. I think the racing blues are probably a bit closer. It, it's it's a really it's a toss up honestly. Or maybe it's sort of in between. <laughs> but you know what? I think we'll go with the ultra blue there. It's almost as good as you. Um, okay, spoiler upgrade. So for the gray one, the closest to the Agera S wing um, is actually going to be the carbon wing, this one right here. So it's the lowest one, the smallest wing out of all of these. So yeah, this one just sticks out too far. So I think carbon wing is the, the one we're going to go with here. Suspension. So for all the cars, obviously the same right height. Um, so the car sat pretty high because obviously they were doing... Um, certain stunts and stuff that required you know a higher ride height um, so I think lowered or street I wouldn't go lower than this I think it's just way too much um, so lowered or street is what you should stick with I think stock is a bit too high um, I recommend lowered personally but you can also go street if you want it to be a bit lower but I'm gonna go with lowered transmission turbo wheels so I've gone through all these wheels and personally i think the closest is going to be in the sport category the s racers and then of course we'll paint them black now fun fact <laughs> all the cars in the film um all the replica cars the the bugatti uh, the the celine all of them actually use a um a twin five spoke wheel and then the wheel that you see on top is just like a hubcap it's just it's just there for looks and you can kind of see the comparison here um, and you can sort of see the wheel behind it in this photo and then you can see the stunt car that actually has those hubcaps removed up out front so that's what the wheel actually looks like behind it so yeah fun little fact there a little bit of Hollywood movie magic there that's a lot of cost cutting so they probably save a lot of money by doing that because having custom wheels made is pretty expensive um, so that's the wheel there uh, s racers in black Windows, so all the cars had fully transparent windows. I, I would leave the stock. I mean, they were pure fishbowl. <laughs> I would definitely leave that stock there. Um, so that's the gray car build. Now for this one, technically, you could go with the um, the secondary fins. I'll show you guys what that looks like here on the hood. Uh, respray secondary. And you can do like an ultra blue or racing blue. So that's sort of what it looks like there. Um, I don't know. I think it's a bit strange looking. I mean, I guess it works, but I think it's it's just too much blue personally. So I would definitely keep the same color. There. So that's the that's my build for the gray car. Now let's do the white car. So very similar. So I mean, pretty much the same thing. The only difference is the rear spoiler. So you want to put that stock. It's going to be the closest. To the Agera R style wing because of the mounting points and everything. And then for the interior, which is trim color, no you actually want to make it a, a bluish silver, I think, is personally the closest. Um, the interior had a lot of um, 
a brighter contrast here and there, like kind of grayish, uh, like a very light gray, almost silver kind of suede color. So I think the bluish silver is going to be the closest there. Um, again, this is for the white car. Let me change it to white so we're not confused here. Um, you can go frost white or ice white, up to you. I think ice white's a bit closer. And then secondary, we're going to make the white match. And that's pretty rough. That's the build there for the white one. So that one's very simple as well. Um, now, lastly, the red one. So for this, you want to go to primary. Uh, and then on here, you can go... Uh, personally, I think Torino red is the closest. But obviously, if you want to do a custom hex or a uh, different red, I don't know why I passed it, but you can do that too. Formula red to me is too dark. Whatever Same thing with lava red and regular red. So I think Torino red is the closest. Don't she look pretty? Secondary, um, you obviously want to make that match. So Torino red. Body boom. Work to match the and... Make sure all oh, the interior. So the interior on on uh, the red one is actually a bit darker. So you can go with the um, rolled steel or dark steel. I think rolled steel is a bit closer. It had that um, sort of like gray suede contrast, you know, that darker gray. Looks so we'll do that there. And that's it for this one, right? Let's just put our plate for the red build. If we have it ready, boom! You Look at that. And Okay, so the only thing we're missing for the red one is going to be the carbon. So the red one has this carbon sort of stripe in the center, and I think this car definitely needs some carbon in this area. It's just too much red in comparison to um, the red Koenigsegg. So I think it definitely needs the carbon up here. And that's it. That's the build for the red one. Absolutely love it. All right, exit to ground. Let's take it for a drive. The car looks fantastic. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, the Entity XXR and even the Entity MT, uh, which is based on Majesco, they both have the annoying slow handling flag, so you can't mid-drive it, and when you floor it, the engine just skips around, and it's just terrible to drive. It, it's just really annoying. I mean, it's still decently quick, but the car just doesn't like bumps. doesn't like bumps, doesn't like curbs, um, and the handling is very strange on it, too. But yeah, still very quick. It looks great. I mean, the, the look is definitely there. Uh, the exhaust note, I'm not too much of a fan of. I mean, it's pretty much the same exhaust note from the Entity XF from 2013, the OG, which is more based on the CCX. Um, but yeah, just listen to that. It's me. <laughs> Never been a fan of the slow handling flag. Just really, really annoying. Of course, you can't mid drive it. That's all it does, it just sits there doing that. That's floored, by the way. Yeah. That's literally, that, that should be the plate, like, like shaking my head SMH for the slow handling flex. <laughs> oh, man, here's first person. See, I wish we had carbon mirrors, too. That would have been a nice option, because the real cars had the carbon mirrors. And even some, maybe livery stripe options for the hood and stuff like the real one. Little things like that I wish we had, but it just is what it is. Um, but I'm pretty sure everything opens on this car if I remember correctly. I think maybe not the hood. Let's see. Vehicle doors. Let's go off. Oh, everything opens up. Okay. There's the front compartment. Looks great. The car in there. Not, not too bad. The interior. I really wish it had the Koenigsegg doors, the Dihedro Synchro Helix doors. Um, overcomplicated name, I just call it Koenigsegg doors at this point. But I wish it had them, and Rockstar even programmed them in the Furia, but for some reason they refused to give it to the Koenigseggs like the XXR or the Entity MT, just is what it is. And this is the engine model reused from OG supercars like the, um, the Cheetah, I think the original Cheetah has this engine model, just is what it is. But to me, this is more of a car that you just have um, to look pretty in the garage, because it's it's not nice to drive. The exhaust load isn't great. The doors open normally. Um, the, the the details, the engine bay, and everything is not all that great. To me, this is just like a garage showpiece. That's pretty much it. I, I I never drive mine. It's just something that I have in my garage just to look nice. That's pretty much it. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Definitely let me know what movie slash TV show build you want to see me do next, and I'll see you in the next one.